Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It is I, Fernando's Mermaid Books, and today I have a special video. It is a tag, and I want to thank Jishana, uh, Jishana from Jishana C, um, who tagged me. I'm so honored that I am tagged in this video. I'm just so happy I've never been tagged before in a video, and I'm super happy. I thank you, Jishana, for tagging me. So, yes, the video is called uh, Not TBR Tag. Now, this is basically um, a tag about books that you don't really want or you're not really into for your TBR. So, I have five questions to tell you guys. So, let's begin with number one. Number one is abandoned pile what genre are you most likely never going to add to your tbr now i read a bunch of genres so i really never really have like a least favorite one but i really am not a fan of thriller and mystery so i don't really like reading thrillers and mysteries because i don't know it just takes me so long to read and then like the start like the middle of the like the story is like very like difficult to understand because like i said thrillers and mysteries are mostly about like trying to find out what is happening and so like i don't know i just don't know how to capture that in my head but i am trying to get out of my comfort zone to try to be able to read more thrillers and mysteries and then i do have two other genres that are not my favorite but i'm still trying to like push myself forward and i'm liking it a lot more uh one being horror and the other one being historical fiction now uh, i'm reading it right now by stephen king it's a horror book and i love it but like i don't know it's just horror was never my thing but i am loving horror now and the same with historical fiction after reading infernal devices the first book i fell in love with victorian london i fell in love with the history so like i feel like if i just keep reading more of these genres i will start getting better at it but for now it's mystery and thriller number two to be denied what book in particular comes to mind that you never you would never read. <laughs> I'm just reading out of my phone. Um, let's see. Um, a book that comes to mind that I would not really pick up would have to be the rest of Stephen King's books. I'm sorry. Like, okay, this is the thing. I really want to read Stephen King's other books, like Under the Dome, Cell, but it's just so much. Like, oh my goodness, it took me a year just to read it, and I'm still reading it. Imagine another book that's more than 1,200, 2,000 pages. So I'd rather read Stephen King's smaller books like Mist or the other one with like the kids. But after, or like, uh, I think it's called The Body. But other books like Cell and, you know, those other hard genres uh, of his books, I'm not going to read right now. So that comes to my mind, which I'm not going to read right now. Like, no, please. I need to concentrate on my other books. I'm sorry. Number three, Nevermore. Is there an author you don't want to give a chance or second chance? Now, let's see. I do love reading a bunch of other authors, but there is one in particular that I wouldn't really give another chance to, and that is Jenna Showalter. Now, I love Jenna Showalter's writing. Like, I read the first book to Alice in Zombieland, but the story's very, like, slow and different from... It's like a zombie genre, but it's not really zombie at all, and it's very hard to decipher. But I would read the rest of her series because I do like uh, like a few of the characters. I really do want to move on with the characters and see what happens at the end. And then there's the other trilogy, which is like about after you die. It's like the afterlife, I think. But I would not give her a second chance on any of her other books because basically all her other books are erotica and uh, like, you know, those sex you know sexy time reads so like i wouldn't give that a chance so i'd rather stick to what i read for her already and you know maybe finish two of her series and that's it because i really do enjoy them but after that i wouldn't give her a second chance on anything else number four tbr pile choose five books from your tbr pile that you know you'll never get to but still have in your tbr forever Okay, so I have five books to show you 
that I still have in my TBR, but I feel like I'm never going to get to them, but I'm still going to keep forever. Maybe I'll read them one day. Like, I have all these books in my TBR because I know I'm going to read them one day. So, yes. Starting out with the first one, I have Atlantia by Ali Condi. I've heard mixed reviews about her in all of her books, um, but this is supposed to be a non-mermaid book. At first, I thought it was a mermaid book because Atlantia, Atlantis, the cover... But I don't know, it's something about her sister being missing underwater. So I don't know when I'm going to get to this. I really don't. I, I tried to read it and I couldn't. So like, I might keep this still, but you know, I don't know. Another one I have here is The Overnight so uh, Socialette by Bridgie Br or Brady Clark. I don't know what this is about. I, I feel like I read it already. <laughs> it's about some girl and some guy meeting at a club or a party anthropology or something i don't know like i really want to get to this but i don't know when i'm gonna get to this so I, I probably never will get to it hopefully maybe when i'm like 80 years old but yeah the next one is risen by angela hunt paul aolo kevin reynolds and paul aolo um this is about some resurrection story about roman tribune clavius is this like a christian book I know my mom gave this to me two years ago. Um, I'm not sure. I've been trying to get to this as well. It does sound interesting. I don't know if it's like the Roman Empire or if it's a really Christian book. But at the end of the day, I hope to get it to it one day, hopefully. But it's, it has a really cute cover. But um, after that, I don't know. The fourth book I have here is The Gauntlet, uh, Iron Man by Eowyn Colfer. I tried reading this once and I tried reading it twice, maybe a third time. And I feel like this book, and I'm supposed to be like 25 pages in the story, and it's just very difficult to get through. I don't know, it's just, this is my least favorite superhero in Marvel. Like, my favorite superhero is Black Widow. I don't know, like, when I'm gonna get to this. And it's really short, so I don't know. And another book I'm never gonna get to forever, hopefully. I mean, I really do want to get through all these books is Beyond the Null by Ginger Cusolo. And I don't know what this is about. Looks like some poet poetic gardening diary book. I do not know. It's about like life being life in uh, in America or something like that. I do not know. Hopefully I get to it one day. I don't know. I might not. Okay, so number five is basically to be TBR read, TBR tag some people. So I feel like I'm I only I'm only gonna tag two people. I tag a reader's world. Stacy loves to read and Melissa and Barndy. So hopefully you guys do the tag. If not, it's okay. Just this is a really fun tag. You get to look at all the books that you might not read or you might not get to or your fa least favorite genre. So yeah. Okay then guys, this is the end of the video. Thank you again, Jayshana, for tagging me. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in another video. Let me just Get a book and I will get beyond the null and, you know, me and this book say goodbye. Hopefully I read it one day. I don't know. But, yes, I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.